hello friends uh, today in this video i'll show you how to use uh, uh, dipstick uh, released uh, one new uh, model janas pro so uh, i will just show you how you can use uh, janas pro in comfy ui and uh, the usage like uh, in what cases you can uh, use janas pro uh, model so this is the workflow simple workflow i have created so before that i will just show you how you can uh, install janas pro so basically you have to do like uh, uh, you have to you know go to your manager and custom node manager so here you can search for Janas Pro and you can see this is the uh, custom node you have to install so config UI Janas Pro I have already installed it so it is showing like uh, try install and all these things so config UI deep six Janas Pro uh, this is the one you can just use this uh, custom node and uh, once you install it so you have to do what you have to do is like uh, after you install the uh, custom node you have to go to your uh, custom node folder so where you are you know uh, downloading the custom nodes uh, like the janas pro custom node where you are downloading so it, it is actually you know uh, getting installed inside this uh, custom node here you can see uh, comfy ui janas pro folder is created so you have to you know cd into this uh, folder copy and there is a requirement.txt file so you can you know just uh, open your terminal and then cd into this folder and then run uh, pip install requirement minus r requirement dot txt so it will install all the uh, necessary requirement like whatever uh, uh, dependency uh, are there so it will install all the uh, libraries so once you install after installing the libraries like uh, dependencies uh, you have to download the model janas pro model so for my case like i have just you know uh, downloaded the complete uh, repository which is there in hugging face so this is the repository in hugging face i'll just show you the url this is the url hugging face slash dipstick ai janas pro 7b this is the url or you can you know copy this uh, repo name and uh, using the hugging face uh, command you can download it this is the command uh, uh, let me just show you the command yeah this is the command and using that you have you can you know directly download the complete repo into this folder so this is the folder you have to maintain uh, uh, this folder structure uh, like whatever the models models folder you have inside that you create janas pro folder and then janas pro 7b so that is the installation part uh, so you have to you know just uh, download the custom node and the model for it so the model is around almost uh, i think 20 almost 20 gb in total so you you should have uh, that much enough uh, space uh, in your uh, network storage or whatever storage you are using so once you download the model you can come to your comfy ui so here i have just created a one simple uh, uh, workflow uh, i'll show you like uh, the interesting part like uh, how janas pro you know it is uh, able to there are two thing i have seen here if i right click and click on the janas pro you can see there is one node for model loader 
and the another one is Jana's image understanding. This is like if you give any input image, it will uh, check the image and it will describe like in text format, it will describe what is there. And there is another uh, Jana's uh, image generation. This is same like text to image, but uh, the interesting thing is like image to text, the Jana's uh, image understanding. So I'll show you this one. So I have just uh, taken one model loader here and here you can see there are two model da got downloaded Janus Pro 1B and Janus Pro 7B so sometimes uh, I, I see it is uh, I mean I'm getting uh, memory like uh, overflow exception uh, like the 24 GB GPU which I am using is not enough sometime uh, it is it is uh, sometime giving me exception memory of exception so for that what uh, I am doing now is like I am just you know before running the workflow I am just uh, restarting the comfy y once to make sure like the uh, VRAM is uh, empty otherwise uh, you may get exception because this is the huge model and in this workflow I am already using uh, one uh, this thing like uh, one uh, checkpoint for diffusion model to, to generate the image <coughs> so I, I should have you know enough space uh, to uh, load both the models so here uh, I have the Dipstick uh, Janus Pro uh, model loader so this is uh, I, I I just selected the bigger model. So this uh, will connect to our Janus uh, image understanding. So this model goes to model, processor goes to processor, and image. I have taken this image from recent news. So I just want to see like if uh, it is able to generate a image same like this or almost same like this. So what I am doing like uh, I am giving this uh, image input to our Janus Pro and Janus Pro will you know generate a, generate a descriptive text like what image is this and then again I am passing the text output from Janus Pro to our uh, uh, image generation workflow here uh, which is uh, using FluxDev FP8 so you can see the connection here so the text output which is coming from here is uh, going into the our uh, flux uh, image uh, text to image generation model so i'll just run it i'll click on run so you can see the our checkpoint is loading and you can see uh, how quickly the VRAM will you know almost uh, reach 99% it's loading the Janus Pro model now it is trying to understand the image see uh, uh, now it has described the image the image depicts a seen uh, on a body of water likely a river or a coastal area in the foreground there is a ui coast guard boat with two individuals wearing red jacket and helmet the boat has an american flag mounted on it the boat is marked with the word us coast guard and 135 on its side okay in background there are two other boats one is small uh, motorboat with a cubin okay sorry cabin and the other appears to be a larger more rugged boat with it uh, okay okay this is more than enough i guess i mean i have not seen that much you know detail in this image it it has you know captured everything this, this is like it's uh even you can if you see even the human eye cannot you know uh, 
pick that much small small information it is even you know this us coast guard it is written here that information also it has picked oh my god this is like uh, totally surprising I, I i can't i mean think of like uh, uh, this model can can give uh, such uh, precise uh, detail of an input image uh, this is uh, like uh, totally like not i have not expected this much accuracy i mean if you see the image uh, this much text and all this is not at all visible even i cannot see clearly the number and the uh, th the text written if i just keep it in i mean if i ju just see it like this i can't even understand that much detail from this image so it has generated the text uh, so I, I have just uh, used one display uh, text at, uh, text node to uh, see the output of the Janus Pro model and then this uh, text input I am feeding it to the clip text of our another uh, image generation model and I will see like uh, what is the output uh, image it has generated see the image it has generated it is almost similar to the input one okay i'll just drag it to that side okay so the text and everything the flag it has correctly picked up everything and you can see this this boat it has a flag here us code coast guard written here and there are uh, how many boat one two three okay there are actually two two boat two boat here i guess this one is broken something i think this one is also a boat so it has generated th uh, in total three four four boats okay and there are a few people here yeah yeah but still it it is like uh, the detail uh, it has generated the text uh, output it is uh, amazing and the text um, and the image also what image i am i mean you know generating using the uh, flux flux model like uh, uh, giving this uh, input text which i got from the janus pro it has you know generated almost similar image okay okay this is the um, the one part of like uh, Jana's image understanding and the text understanding I'll uh, can show you quickly the how the text and un understanding node works here okay now this is the Jana's uh, image generation <coughs> okay same way if I just add it to model and process to processor and the text uh, which i have received from janus pro i'll just control c and control f control v paste it here okay and for images i'll just uh, create one more image node okay so if i run this uh, one uh, so i in i'll just uh, try to you know disconnect this node here let me just run
okay now this is running uh, i got error on the other part of the workflow but that it is okay this part will work uh, let it run okay so it has uh, gave the it has given the output uh, almost similar but it will not be uh, exactly same because this is text to image but still i mean uh, this will be helpful like if you want to you know uh, just uh, create a, some image to text uh, in case like if you want to uh, you know uh, create a story kind of thing or if you want to describe something uh, in your video or if you are you know uh, creating any virtual news anchor in that case like you can use this uh, model to you know uh, take uh, the images from newspaper and just uh, describe it uh, give it to, to Janus Pro and uh, get a text description and just uh, regenerate so that way you know it will not be I mean there will no, not be any copyright issue that image it will be automatically it will be totally new uh, AI generated image and it will be totally like uh, different so there there can be multiple other usages also uh, so that, that's it guys for this video thank you